Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. God bless you. Listen to this word of wisdom. In the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25, the Bible says, And I will restore to you the years that the locals have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. This was the word of God to the children of Israel because of their disobedience. But go the end of everything, forgive them, restore everything they have the devil has stolen away from them. But today I prophesy to you that everything that you have lost unknowingly that you are taking it back now in Jesus' name. In the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 13, the Bible says, Then said he to the man, straight from thy hand, and he straight it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the others. This was a wonderful miracle that Jesus Christ wrought on a Sabbath day. Many complained, they weren't happy at all, that it was it's not according to the law to perform a miracle on a Sabbath day. But Jesus did it. Jesus restored that man. Jesus restored the health of that man and so shall we be in the life. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 the Bible say, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man to get after. So you might be rejected by men, you might be qualified as low life or low class. But remember Jesus, the wife, the word of God is telling you now that he will restore your health, heal your womb, wounds, and restore everything that you have lost. So therefore, represent the temple and don't be afraid of what people think. Don't be afraid of what people may say about you, but be mindful of what Christ is saying about you. In the book of Psalm chapter 51 verse 12, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. God is doing what no man can see. God is doing a lot of things because you only see few percent of it and you think that God is not working. If you are alive today, it's because it's the will of God for you to do better. If you are alive today, it's because it's time for you to do greater. So therefore, our God is not taking away that joy from you because you are His. I believe God is restoring all that the enemy have stolen away from you for years in Jesus name. Yes, our God is restoring everything that the enemy of life have stolen away from you. And that is my prayer for you, for your family, for your career and for your businesses and for your spiritual life. The devil has no right to take what belongs to you. So be strong and believe that our God is able to restore what the enemy has taken away from you. Your eyes shall be open and you shall see the rest.